Hey guys, welcome to Living Satisfied channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a six month postpartum little update. I don't have a ton of stuff to talk about so hopefully this video will be short, but I know I tend to ramble, so sorry. I am six months postpartum. I am have lost all of my baby weight plus a good amount, which has been really, really nice. I know that a lot of women it takes a lot to lose the weight, so I definitely am not taking that for granted. I thought it would take me, um, I thought it would take me about six months to lose the baby weight in general. I gained 30 pounds while being pregnant, and but it was like a healthy weight gain. I didn't really gain excessive, which was nice. Most of the weight gain that I had was like swelling and things like that. And so I thought by the six month mark, I would lose the weight. I think I lost all of my, the full 30 pounds around the fourth month, um, which again, I do not take for granted. I definitely contribute my weight loss to breastfeeding. I think that first and foremost was a huge thing for me because I was eating a lot the first like two months or so right after baby because I was hungry, which obviously meant that I was probably burning a lot of calories. And then I definitely say my diet. I, um, I am a nutritionist. If you haven't seen my blog I have I'll have a link down below it's just livingsatisfied.com and I have some links for like my nutrition page and it just has a lot of recipes and things like that that I've done over the years uh, so you can go check that out down below but I definitely say clean eating helps a lot but I definitely probably have a dessert every single night it's just I try to keep it at a minimum but Nutella is kind of my weakness at this point so yeah, I am back to a healthy weight for my size. Um, I'm 5'1", and so I'm right at about 125 pounds right now, which is a proper size for me. I feel like overall, I feel pretty good, but I definitely notice like, I'm just like not toned. Like everything is just a little bit loose and um, a little bit flabby. And I really haven't worked out very hard at all. I've done a couple classes, I've done some yoga and things like that, but it just hasn't really been a focus and it really needs to be because I'm ready to kind of tone everything up. I've been trying this summer to just do a little bit more like cardio and things like that to help me just feel a little bit better. Definitely following him around, it takes a lot of my energy, you know, getting up and down and around and uh, I would say that definitely helps my little cardio. I like to do some like little baby exercises, whether that's just holding him and doing some squats or laying on the floor and doing like an airplane and like kind of working some abs and legs with him. Uh, and I think that's a really great way to fit in some exercise because I know sometimes it's really hard to exercise when you have a baby. But I find that if you can do a little exercise with him, you know, even if it's just like, going out and in and up and up because they love it too don't you so that's what i recommend is just trying to do some like baby led workouts to kind of get yourself going and don't worry about doing long workouts you know just do like five minutes here five minutes there and i think that would definitely help get things what are you doing going but overall, I'm still dealing with some hair loss. So I started losing my hair around the three month mark. And you can probably tell, like, it's not too bad because I definitely, when you're pregnant, you stop losing your hair for most women. And so I think I was able to kind of keep up with the hair loss because of that. But I'm definitely noticing, like, I still am, like, I brush my hair and, like, I'm just losing a lot. And luckily, it hasn't really shown up too much with my scalp. Like, it hasn't shown up too much, like, from, like, a visual standpoint, but I can tell. So, hopefully that's going to slow down soon. I'm, again, at the six-month mark, so should be ending fairly soon. Emotional side, I feel like my emotions are pretty good. I think that, like, all the postpartum depression, all that stuff is out. Most of the stuff that I'm dealing with is just, you know, patience. Because sometimes it's really hard to keep my patience with you, isn't it? Yes. Especially when you make noises like that. Those are beautiful noises. So when I lose my patience, one of the things I try to do, I don't know what you guys do when you start losing patience with your baby, is A, if I'm super patient, 
I just lay them down on the ground. Just like they like suggest, um, I think everyone suggests, I think you're hungry. Um, is to just put the baby down and walk away. And that's definitely been a really nice <laughs> thing to do sometimes is just to put them down and like be able to like step out of the room for a second. Obviously put them down in a safe place, but, and then just have a moment and then come back in. Another thing that I love to do <laughs> when I start losing my patience is I just grab them and I just, I just hug them. And I just say, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. And I'll just, I'll just grab him and hold him. And I feel like that is, at least for me, I don't know about you guys, but I find that that's really helpful. Um, is instead of getting angry, choosing to love in the midst of it. It's just you when you make noises like that and I'm tired or I've been, had a really hard day at work or something like that. Um, just choosing, choosing to love. And that has really helped me as a new mom, um, is to just give him extra kisses, extra hugs when I want to just, I don't know. I feel like saying anything is, might come across really wrong on YouTube, but I think every mom at some point just wants to be like, ah! <laughs> like, stop it! <laughs> So uh, I think we all deal with that. So that's, I don't know, a little tip that I've found works well for me. My sleep overall has been fine. As long as he is doing okay, he's still waking up one to two times a night, probably two times more than one. And so I just, I don't know, I just try to make it a priority to sleep. And sometimes he sleeps with us, uh, not for a long period of time. He does really, really well in his crib, but for feedings, I will pick him up, take him into our room, and I'll just lay in bed and feed him. You're so wiggly. Um, yes, I'll just lay on my side and feed him, and usually we'll both fall asleep, and a lot of times either I'll just pick him up and take him back to his crib once I kind of like wake up after he's done feeding, or I'll just tap Jay and be like, can you put Jones back down? And he's, he's always been really gracious about that because he knows that I'm awake a lot more than he is. I know. I know. I know, honey buns. I know. You're getting tired. It's about his nap time, so I apologize for all the squirming. But, so that's kind of like the routines that we do. So overall, I'm doing great. If you haven't seen my postpartum body image video, I'll link it down below. I thought, I don't know. I think it's a great thing to watch uh, if you're dealing with like postpartum body image issues. So yeah, I don't know, check it, check it out below. It just kind of gives my views on all of that. So I will end with a little clip of what my body looks like now. Um, I know, uh, stretch marks and all. Um, and yeah, so I hope that you guys have a great day. I'm actually not even fully dressed. I'm wearing like little pajama shorts. And I like threw my hair up in a little bun. Anyone else's baby do that? He does that all the time. It's like he's trying to poop or something, but he, he doesn't. You're funny. So, anyways. <laughs> subscribe to my channel. It just lets you know uh, when I post another video. I'm hoping to do a little bit more than once a week videos coming up. So probably in the next month or so, I plan on <laughs> doing a little bit more videos with food and beauty DIY and uh, maybe some vlogs and things like that. You were the, are you trying to see? What are you doing? Do you see yourself? Okay, bye guys. <laughs> bye guys.